welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming Kirin Cup, a little four-team friendly tournament in Japan. This is our semi-final matchup between Japan and Ghana. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I would greatly appreciate it. This fixture will be played in Kobe at the Noavir Stadium, home of Vissel. That stadium does feature on the virtual red patch that I use. So we have it for you here on the preview. Here's a look at the Noavir Stadium in Kobe. Alright, as the players take the pitch, let's take another look around the Noavir Stadium in Kobe, Japan, before we pause for the national anthem. festivities and prepare for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Japan, the lineup in a 4-2-3-1, Osako, who plays his club football right here in Kobe as the striker, Minamino. From Liverpool is the attacking midfielder, Nakajima and Doan, the outside midfielders. For Ghana, they line him in the Christmas tree, Jordan Ayew, the striker, Thomas Partey in the center of the formation. Are your players? To watch. Crystal Palace and Arsenal players respectively. We're using the Adidas Context Ball. I believe that's what they're going to use here, but I'm not entirely sure. And we're underway. Kieran Cup. Just a little four-team friendly tournament. Chile and Tunisia in one semifinal. Japan, Ghana, and the other. If you haven't watched the preview for Chile and Tunisia, check that out after this one. And then the loser of those two matchups will play in the third place match, and the two winners will play in the championship. The Kieran Cup, the final. Ghana blocked the big shot, and they're moving, looking to move forward quickly. Jordan Ayew of Crystal Palace. Had a look there. Kind of an awkward, uh, an awkward bounce of the ball there. Held him up and allowed the Japan defense to recover, but it looked like he was going to have a run in at the keeper, one on one there for a moment. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
send it over the byline for Japan. It'll be a corner. We are playing a, a knockout uh, competition here, so we're set up for extra time and penalties if need be. of Chile and Tunisia take on the winners of Japan and Ghana for the Kieran Cup. Losers again going to play in a third place tie. So everyone gets to play a couple matches here in Japan. For those that are preparing for the World Cup, obviously, uh, needs and that preparation for those that are not they still get to get out and play some football for their national son. Corner for Japan! Looked like a good corner but no one got on the end of it. Jordan Ayu, Crystal Palace on it again. A lot of EPL representation here. Ayu for Crystal Palace, Partey for Arsenal, Minamino for Liverpool. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anyone. Probably am. All right, here's a corner for the Black Stars of Ghana. Jordan Ayew's going to take it. This should wrap up the first half. Header off the woodwork, and indeed, the end of the first half, nil-nil. Not for any lack of excitement, let's take a look at our highlights as Sakai leads everyone in to the tunnel. Japan nearly 60% possession of three shots to one. Ghana's one shot that header off the woodwork right at the end. That would have been disappointing for Japan if that had gone in. They controlled most of the first half and it could have gone down right at the end there. But we are level. It's Ghana took off the second half. Search on my part, right? Or is he still at Marseille? I'm pretty sure he moved on from Marseille. Just, just leave it in the comments. <laughs> Sorry. Thomas Partey. I know where he plays for Arsenal. Oh, Atsu a ton of space. Defense recovers. Big collision just outside the box. No calls as the referee and Japan have it. Tomo to Yoshida. Yoshida to Nakajima. Out on that left flank. He's got room. What a ball here for Osako. Very dangerous striker. Japan have it back again. Simulating this, I'd probably Google that while we get going here. So there's your stats after 90 minutes. We are going to head into extra time here while I look up where Sakai plays.
Indeed, Harold Sakai now plays for the Urawa Red Diamonds in the J League. I thought he had been going for Marseille. Urawa, from my understanding of the J League, which is a bit limited, admittedly, they are like the, uh, what would you say, the most successful side historically in the J League. Are you dispossessed? Minamino! Sako! Out to Ito! Across! Looks like we've got opportunity here, but the header from Minamino is off the mark. Keeper has some questions for his defense there. Understandably so. John Ayans moving it forward. Gian's come on. He's been he's a very experienced player. Still nil nil as we head into the second half of extra time. Those are stats. So Japan have been in control, but unable to find the back of the net. 15 more minutes to do it, then we are headed to penalties. side that's been in control of this one. I think they would be the ones really pushing forward trying to end this before they go to penalties. Big collision there. No call says the referee. Just a couple minutes remaining here. Japan let's say overly patient. Maybe too patient. Nakajima and Zai heading Nakajima. He's got room. Patient for my liking here. And it costs them, but we're going to head to penalties. Japan have been the better side all the way through, but either unable or perhaps unwilling to press forward and really pressure in the box. So we are headed to penalties. And hey, those are fun, right? I like the drama of penalties. So on we go. The penalty shootout. First, and it's Osako, their talented striker from Vissel Kobe. Plays his club football right here at the Noah Beer Stadium. Gonna go first. You think the uh, comfort of playing here should benefit him? And it does. Osako gets things started on the right foot, literally and figuratively, for Japan. Samoa Gian. Wow! What a strike into the top corner! Minamino. No! No, it's Nakajima. My apologies. His shot is stopped. Japan. On their heels now. Ayu. He finished. Wow, keeper doesn't even move. And in some trouble here, Ito steps up to take the third. Smashes it. Japan really need a save. Atsu. He's in. Here's Minamino of Liverpool. Another save! For the win for Ghana. Fori with two saves. Japan really need one here and they don't get it. Ghana moving forward here in Cup. Take a look at her highlights. Osako kicks things off. And in the 15th minute, 
he gets the first look at goal here from way downtown the shots blocked 41st minute Minamino has his shot blocked and stoppage time at Sue's header off the woodwork in the corner from Jordan Ayew 102nd minute Minamino has a look from Ito his headers off the mark and that's your final if you enjoyed the video please give it a like share it with a friend leave a comment if you're not already subscribed to my channel please take a moment to do that right now I'd greatly appreciate it again thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time